Mani is that individual that has responded to the gospel invitation. She said it's too good to be true. Amen. And I can't miss out on this wonderful opportunity. Mari was first introduced and exposed to the Bible, to the Seventh-day Adventist Church back in the Philippines. When she was a little girl, there was missionaries. Praise the Lord for missionaries. Amen? Amen. Amen. Missionaries that went to the portion in the Philippines where she was from, and they taught her about Jesus. And they taught her about her truths. And those seeds were planted in her heart. And years and years and years and years later, uh, she came to the United States and through uh, uh, multiple different events in her life, she met a man by the name of Sam. And those of you who know Sam, Sam is basically a walking evangelistic baby, okay? I don't know if you've met Sam before, but if you meet, if you meet Sam, you're going to learn a couple of things uh, about, about Scripture. He's passionate about Scripture. He's pa passionate about Jesus. And uh, praise the Lord, they're, they're engaged and they're going to get married. Amen? Amen. Amen? And they both decided, they said, hey, you know, we want to make sure that we establish our home in the principles of Scripture Amen. and in the principles of the Bible. After, of course, receiving Bible studies and after being exposed to a further light, Mari Sen says, I want to make a commitment not only to the marriage covenant, but I want to make my marriage covenant with Jesus. Amen. And she's made this decision, and that's why she's here. But he said, I want you to understand something. You're being baptized not only into the Panama City Seventh-day Adventist Church, even though this is an amazing church. As you can see, there's beautiful people in this church. And the people that you see are here because they want to support you. In essence, they're saying, welcome to the family. Amen. They're also saying we're not perfect. Amen? Amen. Right? We're not perfect, but you know what? We have a perfect that in the process is going to perfect all of us. But I also wanted to let you know that you're being baptized into the worldwide Seventh-day Adventist Church that has around 18 million people all over the world. So it's a big family that you're being baptized into. And we just wanted to say welcome to the family. We're excited that you're here. And we are excited to see what the Lord has in store for you as an individual and, of course, for the both of you. Uh, you and Sam. I'd like to invite Sam to come up um, so you can get a better uh, photography view <laughs> and also as a, a method of uh, support and encouragement. I'd like to invite Genevieve if she wants to also stand by Sam well as well. So because of, of your commitment, Mani said, you have decided to make a decision that is, is, not, is not a popular decision. But it's a decision that you see that is uh, is worth it all. It's worth it's worth it for Jesus, and it's worth all of eternity. And Mighty said, because of your commitment to Jesus, because you want to be a part of God's last day, commandment keeping people, and because you don't want to miss the marriage supper of the Lamb, it is my honor and it is my privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to invite Mari to come up because Mari has also decided something crazy. <laughs> With all due respect, Mari, please come up. She says, you know what? Life makes no sense living only based on my own pursuits. I want to partner with God. I want to follow Jesus. And I want to be a commandment-keeping child. I want to be a part of the family of God, which is imperfect, but we have partnered with a perfect God. And I'd like to invite our church clerk to come up as on behalf of the Panama City Seventh-day Adventist Church, your spiritual family. This is just a token of our welcome to you. And uh, we hope that it is a blessing to your spiritual journey, as well as your, we have a baptismal certificate in there for you so that you could remember this day uh, in the years to come. Is there a motion to accept Sister Marie into our church family? Is there a second? All in favor say hallelujah. hallelujah. Carrie. 
I would like to invite the congregation to stand to their feet as we sing the closing hymn. I say you could take a seat. <laughs>